league in the other conference, and the Warriors have had success against that conference, 6-2 and two on the year when playing the Coastal Conference. Here's Ray Hamlin back in as he tried to get that puck to the front of the net. But played back down below the goal line, picked off behind the net, put to the goal and scores. Coquitlam's open the scoring, and it's Blake Setter right in front who's got his fourth goal of the season as he works it to the front of the goal after a scramble behind the net and puts it in, and it's a one to nothing express lead. Uh, just a bit unfortunate again. I think it was, uh, well, without a doubt, it was a turnover right behind the net. And that puck sent ahead to center and a chance here for Liam Tanner walking in right circle, stopped by Zoll. Big stop by Angelo Zoll as Tanner had some open room. Now he's got the puck again, and he roofs it up and over Zoll and in. Over the glove side, Liam Tanner just under a minute and a half into the second period. Tanner's got his 11th and the express lead, 2 to nothing. Well, that's not how the Warriors wanted to start this period. And uh, again, like last night, they're starting to dig a hole. They've just really got to figure out a way to... to, to Around the boards it goes, left wing, green, down to the left wing half board, walking out, there is Bernadette, left it for Porchetta, he scores! Nick Porchetta right in front on a terrific play by the Warriors to keep it inside the offensive zone, and it's Porchetta that fires it past the glove side of Smith. 16.05 to go in the second, it's a one goal game. And here, express a good power play, 22% as mentioned as this puck held along on the right wing side. Chris Duclair got it out to center, could be a two on one. Duclair down the right wing side, moving in, a centering pass. He was looking to try and find Porchetta, wraps it around and scores! Duclair scores short handed, and the Warriors tie the game. There you go. That's the energy of a Chris Duclair. He doesn't give up. His pass across was blocked. Worked below the goal line by Brennan Nelson. Nelson back along with it here as the Express take it away, get it out to center. That's Armstrong who did so. Porchetta trying to track it down and neutralize, but Bodazzoni will carry back in. 50 seconds to go in this Express power play. A centering pass. Oh, what a shot and a goal for Coquitlam to tie the game on a backhanded shot up and over Angelo Zoll. It goes underneath the crossbar and in, and it's Coco Armstrong who gives Coquitlam the lead right back at 3-2. to two. Yeah, Fanned on his pass up ice, touched up there by the Express. Could have been too many men as it's brought back along by Lusiak. Midpoint now, Moriello left wing side, McDonald back door, Norland. Oh, what a stop by Smith. Puck loose in front, and he still kept it out. Oh, my goodness, Brady Smith with two phenomenal saves. Getting across on the glove side and making an absolutely incredible stop on Isaiah Norland yeah. to keep this game 3-2. What a stop by the Express Netminder. That was an amazing stop. It was just a gaping cage. The, the whole left side of the, of the net was open and uh, great, great, great save by Brady Smith. Tyler Kopp, the Brown University commit got it ahead right side. Budazzoni. Working there against Nick Porchetta, got off the wall to the right wing side. Keysbrick back, door scores! Evan Brown, a power play goal. And it's Coquitlam who jumps ahead by a pair once more. Four to two, the express lead. What, what can you say, Trevor? That was a nice goal. That was a nice passing play, a nice goal. And you can't, uh, you can't blame Angelo Zoll for that. So uh, the Warriors find themselves down again. Two goals like they were in the first period. It's a long way out to come out here to BC to play hockey as they'll send that puck ahead through center. Deflected in now by Budazzoni. Back down below the goal line. We're happening around to the right wing corner. Here's Ethan Rosanoff. Left it there. Emmett McCarter, that was Blake Setter, back to the blue line. A long shot by Ruben. Scores! Ruben puts it on from the right point. In front of the net, providing the screen was Ethan Rosanoff. And three and a half minutes into this third period, the Express get their lead to three and make it five to two seconds to go here in the third period this puck is pushed up the ice on the left wing side back down inside of the Warriors zone and that will wind down the final seconds and this one is over it's a five to two victory for the Coquitlam Express over the West Kelowna Warriors here tonight the Warriors falling in their fourth consecutive game and the Warriors dropping this one here to the Express five to two they came from behind after falling down two to nothing to the Express, but find their way uh, to a five to two final as Coquitlam scores three unanswered to finish this one off. Yeah, and uh, you know, again, it's just it, it's been a tough weekend for the Warriors. Uh, they've dropped a couple 